In a previous video, uh, we developed the dynamic equations of motion of a spring mass system and then we wrote the dynamic equation in a graphical format which I said would be suitable to input into Simulink for simulation. In this video, we will look at uh, generating the Simulink model. So we go to MATLAB startup simulink and simulink is a graphical uh, tool for building dynamic systems and simulating them so let's go and start a new model So this a system is a drag and drop kind of model. So you, all the blocks that you need, all the elements that you need are in this. In this window, you just drag and drop what you want. So let's look at continuous systems. Um, what you're looking for is <coughs> the integrator blocks. So let's drag an integrator block in here. So let's say x double dot enters here gets integrated. You get x dot another integrator block and you get x so let's join these now you need to take x and multiply it with k to get kx so for that we'll need um, math operation so you have your gain here bring it in here and we'll need to reverse the direction so we go to format and I'll flip block and uh, let's see there that looks nice <coughs> let me drag it right here and we also need to take uh, x dot and multiply it with b so another gain and format flip the block and there that should do um let's look at what's there in gain so replace this one by k we need to define k later replace this with b now we need to sum these two signals and we look at summing <coughs> again in math operations uh, flip this block around Let's say like that and this goes in here like that Actually, I don't like this too much. Let me bring it down here. That looks much better. Maybe I'll drag this forward a little bit. Okay. Now, I need to subtract that from the input F. So, we need the end summation block. Like so. Now the input is a source, so we need to go to sources and for the time being let's say we want to do step source. We can change it later when we want. So attach the source, go up and drag this here, stick it in here. And need to make this negative double click that and change the sign here now you need to scale the result by 1 by m so we need a gain again math operations and gain and connect that 
that, make it nice, and to 1 divided by m. Now we need to, one, when you simulate, we need to uh, view the result. So what I'm going to do is put a graphing window here, and that you get from sinks. Sinks is where all the signals go. So you have a scope and stick it in here. And what I'd like to do is like to see the input and output in the same scope. So what I need actually here is I need two signals to go into the scope at the same time so that I can view both. So I'll take the input and then take the output and send it to the scope. But there's only one input. So I need to convert two inputs to one input. So for that, we'll use signal routing. And you do this bus create. What the bus creator does is merges two signals together. So there's two inputs. So let's see, we'll stick this here. Let's see. Uh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll put the second one here. And the first one will drag it all the way here to the input. Make it nice. And then connect these together. I think we are all done. Now I go ahead and define what M, M B and K is. So let's say M is 10, uh, B is 2, K is 5. Now we can run the simulation. what the results are. That's your input. Let me auto scale it. There. That's your input. And that's your output. There. Now, if you want to do a nice graph, what we'd like to do is uh, run the results of the simulation into the workspace into a variable and then plot it with a regular MATLAB uh, graphing function. For that we'll have to look at things and take this block out. What this block does is takes these results from here and sends it to the workspace uh, to a variable named simout. So let's do that. Then run the simulation again. Now we can go to the MATLAB prompt and type in sim plot sim out. And you get a nice graph. Like so you can put in legends, legend input and output and you should see those things coming up here now let's see if you want to increase and it doesn't look like there's enough uh, time to which we are simulated I just want to see what happens as you go more time so that what you do is we go and change the simulation parameters and run the simulation for a much longer time Ten steps, uh, maybe we'll do hundred seconds, and then see what happens. Run the simulation again, and uh, there, that looks much better. So as you see, this this is the step input, and the output. This is what the mass does. Just this wriggly thing and then stops. This we'll learn later is called a uh, uh, damped system. Actually, under damped system. Uh, we'll go into detail uh, later lectures into this behavior. Now, let's say we also need instead of um, not just uh, output 
and the position here but I also need to look at the velocity that is this so I can do that I can just go ahead and change the signal router and say I need I have three inputs instead of two and then I'll drag this to collect the velocity like so uh oh keep that as is and that should uh, let's see if this works yeah that looks much better again run the simulation I have uh, everything in sim out so let me just go and uh, plot that there's your velocity let me change the legend input the first output is position and the last output is velocity and there you have it that's the end of our lecture